the No Fake channel, checking in. Today I'm reviewing this Synergy Power Cage, a power rack and pulley system all in one with a whole bunch of accessories. We're going to talk about whether this is a beauty, budget, or if it's a bust. Let's go! If this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review pieces of home gym equipment on every episode to help you decide if it is right for your home gym, if it will exceed your expectations, and if it's worth your hard-earned money. There's gonna be four parts to today's video. The overview of this Synergy power cage and pulley system. We're gonna go over the cons because no piece of home gym equipment is ever perfect. Then we're gonna dive into all of the pros. And finally, I'm gonna give you the fate of the union where I give you my final thoughts after putting this power cage through its paces to help you decide who this product is right for and who should avoid it. This Synergy Power Cage, also known as a power rack, is made with 16 gauge steel. The beams are a two by two configuration with one inch diameter holes and then four inch spacing between each hole. As far as the height, it is 81 inches, meaning that it's going to fit in your garage gym, your basement gym, or in your closet. As far as the actual spacing, this is approximately 27.5 inches in terms of your spacing for benching or squatting or just curling in your power rack. It does have a 750 pound weight maximum, but for most of us, uh, that's gonna be well above what we're gonna need, and I will get into that uh, further in today's video. As far as uh, the accessories, whew, so many accessories. Your pull-up bar. It comes with dip accessories that have dual handles. It comes with a landmine and it comes with a landmine handle. It comes with two additional handles for the pulley system and, and it comes with a barbell holder to boot. I want to start with the cons. I want to start with the negatives. This channel is about full transparency. And by starting with the negatives, I'm able to pull back that curtain so you know what you're getting yourself into. Now, there's three main negatives that I found with this power rack. Let's get into them. Number one are the safeties and the J-hooks. They are bare steel. What that means is over time, over use, your barbell is going to get scratched up. It's a barbell, it's still gonna work absolutely fine. And that's not that big of a deal, but I want you to be aware of it. Oftentimes, you don't have a budget power rack and then get a really expensive barbell. Typically, they go hand in hand. So if you've got a budget power rack, having a budget barbell, you're not gonna mind that it gets scratched. That's why you bought a budget barbell. But I do want you to be aware of it. The next detractor with regards to this power cage is the four inch spacing. Now for 80 to even 90% of you, you're gonna find a hole on your squat and your bench that's gonna match up exactly where you want it to be. You're not gonna have any issues, you're not gonna notice any problems. But there's gonna be five or 10% of you that are gonna be in no man's land. You're gonna wish you were right here in the middle and when you go to take your squat bar off the rack, you're gonna either be a little bit too low or a little bit too high. Same goes with the bench, and it is going to be a nuisance, something that you should be aware of. The other thing is the weight capacity, 750 pounds. Now I know for most of you, myself included, we're never gonna see 750 pounds. Unless your name is like Brandon, you're never gonna be lifting 750 pounds on your power rack. But keep in mind, my 16-year-old minivan the speedometer goes up to like 120 miles an hour. I'm never getting that thing up to 120 miles an hour, and you really wouldn't want to push the pace on your car. Same thing with your power rack. It has a 750 pound weight capacity. You really don't want to get close to the maximum of that weight capacity, just for safety's sake, let alone for peace of mind. In reality, if you're benching or even squatting over, let's say 415, 425 pounds, you probably shouldn't be buying this rack. Now keep in mind, most of us, let's be honest, we're never gonna squat or bench or lift anything heavier than 425 pounds, but you need to be aware that you don't wanna get too close to the threshold of that maximum just for the fact of your safeties and peace of mind. 
pros, the things that make you want to buy this power act. This is the easy part of the video because there's so many great things about this power cage. Number one is all the accessories. Obviously you're going to be getting a power act, but you get the pull-up station. You get the, you get the dip accessories that have dual handles. You're going to be getting the pulley system so you can do pull downs. You can do rows. You can do tricep push downs. You can do your bicep curls in your power rack. Also, it comes with a landmine and it comes with two sets of handles and an additional landmine handle as well. And there's more. Yes, there's more. You can actually get a barbell holder. It comes with it. It's free. It's included as far as the cost. And that's where this thing stands out. Starts off at $600. And then they have a code no fade 24-7. In 2021, that's going to be 15% off. Unfortunately, costs are going up. 2022, it's going to go down to 10% off. So in 2022, you can pick this up for $540, everything included. Keep in mind, there's a lot of power racks out there that are like $1,000 just for the rack. That's it. That's all you get. You don't get the landmine. You don't get any of the attachments. No pulley system whatsoever. You get gots. But in Synergy, uh, Synergy Fitness, this thing, $540 for everything that they're giving you is an absolute steal of a deal. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I tell you my personal thoughts on this power cage after beating the brakes off of it for three weeks. And I'm gonna tell you who this is right for and who this is, isn't right for. First and foremost, full disclosure, it comes in two boxes, two boxes, and they do come like a day apart. I don't know why it wasn't that big of a deal for me, but you just need to be aware of that so you don't freak out when only one box arrives on day one. Also, as far as assembly, straightforward, easy peasy. I will say that in terms of things that were like a negative for me, and again, this is me sp p uh, splitting hairs, the pulleys on the pulley system are plastic. I would have liked to see them use metal. Not that big of a deal because of that price point. And that price point is what this is all about. This is a budget power rack at $540. I don't think you're going to get a power rack with all the accessories for cheaper than that. Clearly, there's better power racks out there, but you're going to be paying double, if not triple, when you include the accessories that this thing comes with. And I think ideally, who is this right for? Ideally, it's right for the person that has absolutely nothing. You want a home gym and you want to just click it and be done. This is it with the with the dip attachment, with the landmine, with the pulley system and the pull-up bar, you're in, you're gold, and it even has that, that barbell holder. And again, the price point is where this thing shines at $540. Boom, done, sold, you're good to go. So who isn't this rack right for? Frankly, if you're a super ultra elite power lifter, this is going to be underwhelming compared to what your expectations are going to be. Also, if you have drank the home gym Kool-Aid, and I mean drank. You said to yourself, this is it. I'm never gonna work out at a local gym again. You probably gonna wanna invest more money. This is meant for someone on a tight budget. You're in college, you got a mortgage, you got bills to pay, and you wanna get your gains on, but you don't wanna break the bank. That's who this is for. Also, if you want a home gym only for the occasional use when your local gym is closed because of a power outage, a snowstorm, a pandemic, then you want to have something at home to use once in a while. This is it because it gets you everything that you could use or need in a home gym without breaking the bank, but clearly it's not going to be the ultra high quality that three or $4,000 would buy you. As far as um, any problems with regards to this system? I did have to lubricate the back rail on the pulley, but keep in mind, that's just general maintenance, whether you have a functional trainer or any type of pulley system, you're gonna need to add some lubricant to it. If you are just starting to build out your home gym and you're on a budget, definitely consider this Synergy power cage with the pulley system. If you're watching this in 2021, that $540 price will even be lower because my coupon code NOFAY247 will get you 15% off. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Any questions, you drop them down below. Let me know which products, which pieces of equipment, which power racks you want me to review 
in the future. I'm always looking for what people are interested in because I only want to review what you're actually going to watch. As usual, if you came this far in the video, give the video a like, hit that red subscribe button, and don't save anything for the trip back.